My name is Katie and welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler book review on Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo and this is book number one that is in the Grisha trilogy. So guys I finally, finally got around to reading this book. I've had it on my TBR forever and then Sean finally picked it up for me to read and I was like you know what when I'm in the mood for anything, I will pick up anything and read it. And fantasies, I tend to struggle with because sometimes I'm not in the mood for fantasy. I don't want something that hard going. I would rather a contemporary, something easy going, something that's not going to be stressful, something that's going to make me laugh. Because, you know, when I come home from work one day, I don't want to, like, get into a tough sort of thing where I'm going to have a headache from trying to get into, you know, a big new world building arena of a book and you know what I actually did enjoy this book I didn't love it like everybody else has been doing I, I, I liked it I liked it so I gave this book four stars and I will tell you exactly why but first of all I'm going to start with telling you exactly what the book is about for those of you like me who are living under a rock and have no idea what it's about or this book's on your TBR and you're like you know what <sighs> no idea but I just thought I'd let you guys know anyway so this is about Alina and she ends up being an orphan along with her best friend Mal and it's in the world of these Grisha and these Grisha people they have abilities and so it sort of starts off where they're in this orphanage and then they end up being tested to see if they are Grishas and then they obviously go on from there and what we learn is that Alina has a super secret power and you know what people are going to be after her for because she just she emits this big light out of her body she has no idea that she's had this power because it just suddenly happens one day when they are being attacked by these flying creatures with like claws that are like evil and dark like I like to th imagine them as like giant ravens with big claws and all that but yeah so obviously Mel gets attacked she tries to protect him and then she makes this light out of her she has no idea how she does it but obviously a lot of people witness it and then we have the Darkling who is like this sort of evil guy who it he kind of is an amplifier so he sort of like amplifies people's power makes them stronger and bigger and does that so he does that with Alina's power and that way the light is brought out of her so everyone can witness it for real and so obviously Alina then realizes that she does have this power and she may be able to sort of save people and she's obviously going to be wanted for it because it's quite rare and so then obviously she's battling the seduction of the Darkling because he's very terrifying, he's powerful and he has this sort of like magnet attraction and she sort of doesn't know like what's going on with him and he's kind of mysterious and interesting but obviously like evil at the same time and I don't know what it is but I always have this thing with like evil guys that are kind of like you know hot and like they're bad but you know you wanna you wanna learn more about them so it'd be great to see like what happens in the next books like with the Darkling and all that so that'd be great so with her best friend Mal he ends up being like some sort of soldier for the Darkling and they all end up like work working for the, the king and the queen and they are whose orders they follow from so it's just sort of like an interesting fantasy world where there's the people called the Grishas who have secret abilities and they're like popular and big and important and when Alina becomes one of these Grishas she's just she's very very insecure about it she's sort of like now you got the wrong person this isn't me you know you're gonna be really disappointed I'm not gonna save you and all that so she's very very insecure and she sort of slowly slowly learns to get more and more positive about this power and that she does have it and that she can be strong and that she can be good so she does develop her character a lot better so that's what the story is about and those are the main characters that are in the story 
There is no doubt about it that Leigh Bardugo's writing is fantastic and her whole idea of this world is great so her world building is awesome. The only downside to this book is for me I felt that things like weren't explained, I didn't know like what Grishas were, I, I didn't know anything about this world. I feel like I was just chucked into it and it took me a while to get into this book because of that. But that was literally the only downside of this that, you know, it took a few chapters for me to finally get into it. But once I was in it, I was enjoying myself. And there there were some bits of this book that were a little bit slow and I do like my fantasies to be a little more fast paced and there's always something going on and there were like just a, a few moments when it just felt really slow and you know when it's slow because you can feel yourself being pulled away from the book you're like you know what I'm reading it because like I need to not more than that I want to so like that's like the only downside which is why I gave it four stars so you know I hope that the second and the third book do get better with progression and hopefully a lot more happens in the second book so yeah I all in all I did really really enjoy this book it's a great first start to a trilogy I just I just hope it really improves I hope the characters have a more development maybe there's new characters who knows but all in all, that is my honest review and opinion on this book and I hope you respect that and have enjoyed this. Also, the cover is, is, is really sort of pretty and this is the silver version. I know they sort of redid one as like a purple cover and this is like the UK paperback edition but I, I wasn't sure if I liked it at first but I, I, think, I, I, think, I, I think I like it now. I think I like it now because when I first saw it I didn't think it was very pretty because it's grey and it's dull and but I think I like the cover now I think I do so yeah that's my non-spoiler review on Shadow and Bone Ballet Bardugo please do let me know if you've read this book down in the comments below and also let me know if you've read the whole trilogy and what you thought about the whole trilogy and please do let me know if what I suspect you know happens like you know does it get better in the second book and the third book do the characters grow stronger and then more kick ass does a lot more happen please let me that know down below as well and your honest thoughts of it did you love this trilogy did you hate it did you think it was okay and also let me know especially what you thought about this book because it'd be interesting to know if there was anybody else that sort of agrees with me on that fact or you know i don't know you might be thinking i'm complete gobbledygook but that's just my honest opinion and I hope you guys respect that and don't like slam me for it like if you love this book and you think oh my god Katie like I hate you now because you don't enjoy this book please please respect my honest opinion on that because I would respect yours if you didn't like a book of mine but again thank you very much for watching my videos always keep smiling keep reading and I'll be happy my name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful people in my next video bye